What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Jim Graphics. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to design a wedding jota in Corridor. This is a requested video from a subscriber. So let's jump into the video. But lest I forget before, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss my future upload. I'm sorry guys, you guys um made a complaint based on the previous videos I've posted. I'm able to download the stock images. I'm sorry I lost that particular file. So um you can download any stock images similar to that one and practice with it. So guys without wasting further of your time let's get straight to the video. So over here are the stock photos I will be using for this tutorial. I'll put the link on the down description below so you can check it out and download, make use of it. So this is the picture and this is the background and this ring and so forth. So let's go straight to the video. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is change it to A4. It's already on A4 and um, change our dimension to landscape unit to inches all right so the first thing we're going to do now is import the stock images so if you don't know how to do that right click on this empty space then you see import click on import and select your files you can either click enter or you drag this way so if you click on enter, assuming you kind of drag everything and click on enter this way, everything will come like this. So the choice. All right, guys. So let's keep this here. And the next thing we're going to do is use our rectangle, double click here to place it in the empty space here this way and automatically to bring itself to the middle. All right, so um, the next thing we're going to do is take our dimension. I'm going to drag this over here. Hold your shift, hold your control, sorry, and flip it this way and click on this and drag it here. I don't know whichever way is best known to you. You can do it, but this is the way. I enjoy doing it so select a rectangle place it over here and I'm going to use 0 0.6 by 0 0.6 inches so 0 0.6 inches all right so bring in your rulers this way guys if you understand you can drop me a comment in the comment section below I'm just trying to I think I mentioned this and I did this in our previous video so you can check it out and delete this one all right guys so the first thing now we're going to do is bring in this picture which we are going to use for this tutorial all right guys so um what i want to tell you guys is there are pictures you don't need to bother yourself removing the background the photographers have already done the job for you so you don't need to stress yourself removing the background you can actually design any joto of your choice without tampering with this background the background is dope like it's okay it's just to do a few things there Add some contrast to the image and you know that's it so let's continue so the first thing I'm going to do is power clip this image inside this rectangle here and right click on it select power clip and place it here then right click on it edit power clip to edit the content inside the rectangle so you can adjust and place this whichever way suits you and i'm going to leave this this way so now um what i want to do is add a bit of contrast go to effects adjust then 
brightness and contrast and this is fine i'm going to leave this as 14 just to give it a little bit of contrast this way all right guys so the next thing i'm going to do now is bring in this background so i'll clip it inside the rectangle all right i'm using shortcut i'm sorry for that so right click power clip then place it inside right click again then edit power clip to edit the content inside so drag this down a bit then adjust you can scale it up a bit this way now go to your effect blur use Gaussian blur to blur this background a bit this way and this is fine so you, you must not use my my settings so you can anyone that suits you you it's, it's fine all right so click ok and the next thing we're going to do is use our transparency tool to fade out this part the edge of this background so use your transparency tool and drag this way so as i told you guys the photographer have already done the job guys there's not much thing to do here don't need to remove the background anymore so um so any way that suits you you can do it all right so the next thing we're going to do now is bring in this same background import it and power clip inside this one and scale it up this way so what we're going to do now is blow this but just a little bit this way all right use our ellipse tool and create the cycle over here give it a white color then click finish so guys this is what you are going to have if you don't understand if you have any question guys you can drop me a comment in the comment section below so the next thing we're going to do now is bring it this one as you can see guys it has a white background so i taught you guys how to do this in our previous video so to do this if you're watching for the first time go to bitmap mode white and black and um, change this if it's not on line art change it to line art then you can play around with the threshold and what we have here is one four eight so you can leave it at that click ok then go to trace bitmap then outline trace then line art again and allow it to load Alright guys, so this is what we're going to have now and click OK. Now you can see we have the raw object and this one with the background. So delete this one and bring in this over here. Then click on shift page up to bring it forward if, in case you find it at the back. So reduce this, place this over here. Can reduce this all right the the next thing i'm going to do is because i want to place the couple's name over here so what we're going to do now is use your rectangle and draw a line this way now right click on it convert it to curve select your shape to so once you convert anything to curve in correct draw is automatically an object you understand it's an object you, you can play around with it once you convert it to object you can manipulate it all right so use your shape to delete this node delete this node these are called nodes 
all right so delete this now we have now we have a straight line so um right click on this one convert it to curve now pull it up a bit as you can see now right click on this one to convert to curve then pull it down a bit so this is what you're going to have so you can kind of adjust so guys this is what you are going to have the next thing we're going to do guys is click on weld over here in the property box combine or convert the whole object to be one so as you can see we have um we have everything to be separate you can see it's kind of everything is one one so you can click on weld in your property bar to make everything together all right so as you can see we have everything as we want so guys the next thing we're going to do now is let me change the color so you can see it very well so you can flip this by um selecting control on your keyboard then point on this anchor point over here and drag up then or uh, the best thing if you're confused the best thing we're going to do is um let me use this method you can use ctrl d to duplicate this this way and place it here then select both selecting both then click on c on your keyboard to align it to the center this way then click on this one use mirror vertically to flip it this way all right guys so in case you don't understand what i did here guys drop me a comment I don't understand in the comment section below and i will be glad to attend to you all right guys so let's continue guys the next thing we're going to do is place in their names here the couple's name here by using our text tool click on it place it here and um, you can type faith benson it's just a random name guys don't quote me around so change the color to white we're going to manipulate the colors later but for for the best view of this let's use white so i'm going to change the font to this our liner i don't know so i'll put the i'll, I'll put the name down in the description below so this is the font then the next thing we're going to do now is as you can see this font is kind of there's no space there's no space there's no breathing space in here so what we're going to do is use our shape tool click on it and drag this this way keep it simple guys just keep it simple so the next thing we're going to do guys is duplicate this this way and change this to something okay let's say frank mike all right so we leave this this way it's just a random name guys you can play around it you can use any name you want to use okay guys so we're going to add something here select your ellipse tool here and drag this way if you want to drag a perfect cycle guys when you select your ellipse tool click on control press it and drag this way you get a perfect cycle so drop this put the white and um, you can just leave this here then select your text to place it here and click on shift 7 to have the and sign so you can change this to times new roman this way place it here so we have a Benson and frank mike all right guys so the next thing we're going to do now is bring in this wedding ring and place it over here as i told you before if it's at the back click on shift page up to bring it forward so this is what you're going to have just place it somewhere here let's keep it simple guys and boom there we go all right guys so i'm going to duplicate this and place the date here let's say 25th september 
20 so bring it select this and select the box or the rectangle and click on C to bring it to the middle I believe I taught you guys this in our previous video so you can reduce this and kind of scale it up in this way so this is what you're going to have so um, I'm gonna put something here select your text tool over here and click then type in wedding ceremony all right guys so now select ctrl k on your keyboard to break the text apart or better see go to your object on your menu bar select break artistic text area no more apart all right so once you click on it this text remains one one as you can see so we'll go ahead and change the font to well, i'll change this font to sloop you can download it it's called sloop s l o o p so i'm going to change this to try i don't know the name anyway but it's called try jump pro so change it this way give it a white color so just keep it simple you know the beauty of a design is when you're designing and nothing is jam-packed like every information is there and there's a breathing space between every information from the picture to the text to your coloring you know just keep it simple and um, basically that's it all right so let's keep it simple all right so place it over here and don't worry everything I'm using here I'm gonna put the link on the down description below all right guys so the next thing we're gonna do now is I'm gonna copy this picture paste it now select it then select power clip place it inside the back cover so this is our front cover this is our back cover now right click on it select edit power clip and um, can place this here so the next thing I'm gonna do is use our rectangle tool and draw a box over here then select shift select select the ellipse tool then place press on C on your keyboard to align it to the middle this way the reason why I'm pressing on shift each time I want to select two objects is if you select this without pressing shift you cannot select the second one for instance let me give an example if this is an object and this is an object if you want to select this and you want to select this two together you can either highlight or by clicking on ctrl a but there are points you can't use ctrl a to do some certain tags when you're designing so assuming you want to select everything together so what you want to do is select this and click on shift as you can see if you click this they are all selected you understand so that is it so let's continue with this video this is just a tip all right so i'm going to put this color white for now so the next thing i'm going to do is um convert this to curve use my shape to right click on this convert to curve and bring this in this way and um, to get a perfect curve of this i'm going to flip this this way then merge it together do you understand if you don't understand drop me a comment in the comment section below all right guys so the next thing i'm going to do now is and duplicate this object so what you're gonna do now is um, press on your shift on your keyboard then drag it inside this way then left click immediately you can see we have two so let me just give this color so you can see so what I'm going to do now is um, use my shape tool again and um, 
bring this one in here and bring this one in here leaving us with just this two part and click on this cycle select shift on your keyboard and press page up to bring it forward so we, are, we have hide the box behind the cover shape so the next thing we're going to do now is power clip this image inside this box here so you can right click power clip and place in here so right click again select edit power clip so you can kind of adjust this this way mm -hmm, this way all right panel in love and panel in love with this picture all right so the next thing we're going to do is um let me scale this up So guys, I told you in the beginning of this video, sometimes there are pictures you'll be given by a client. You don't need to bother yourself taking out the background. You can make use of the background the way it is. Not all pictures, don't quote me wrong. Not all pictures. Alright guys, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to duplicate this ring this way and place it over here. Right, so let's drop this here and um, the next thing I want to import now is a light play. Alright, somebody told me that how do I get the light play? How do I make it? How is it effective? How do you apply that on your jobs? Uh, just watch all right so i'm gonna place this over here as you can see guys this is not actually kind of dope so we have like a like an edge here so what i'm going to do is use the transparency tool and fade it out this way then go to your mage mode and change this to screen all right so we have something shiny here so you can leave it this way all right so now what i'm going to do now is use your text tool and type appreciation so you can change this to tridax pro leave it here Alright guys, so the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this one, bring it over here, and give it black. Alright, so I'm going to type something random, thanks for coming, thanks for coming, just something random anyways, not, you know, just for the sake of this tutorial, alright, so let me just copy this. I'm going to change this to Futura. Guys, this is just a random, just random anyway, it's not. Alright, just an appreciation, we just place it in there. Okay guys, so the next thing we're going to do is bring in this text, this place and type. Just reduce and change the font to this and scale it up a bit. All right, so I think we're good to go with this. So I'm gonna play around with the color just a little bit, just to fit in with the picture. So I want to use my eyedropper to color eyedropper to and pick a color from the groom body place this here and place that there all right guys so same thing i'm going to do here we're going to change this color to something goldish so
now you can adjust the color i don't want it to look too yellow so just something light then to mix the color just put this here then select this select this color change this color and this one use this color and give this a black color you can leave this on white it's fine so over here you can give this something dark brown just to get a good contrast with the ring this way change this one to brown too and something like this and this too and we're good to go guys this is it so and the next thing we're going to do is change this color a bit something light all right so this one here i'm going to place this color over here then kind of this is fine right, so the last thing i'm going to do now is duplicate this and color it all right just to match in with this and this all right guys so this is how to design a simple but attractive wedding jota in Corridor. if you have any question guys drop me a comment in the comment section below and don't forget each and every stock photo i use here i'm going to drop the link on the description below feel free to download and make use of it guys if you have any question don't forget to give drop a comment in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up if you like it i know you like it and share this with your friends guys my sponsor might be on your list so don't forget to share this video with your friends and smash that like button see you in my next video guys